Bunun Farmer Buya's mahogany plantation is about 10 minutes away from Provincial Highway. He used to grow sugar apple on the land, which covers about one hectare or 2.5 acres. And the farm is what Buya has relied on for a living over the years. In the past, he always worried that sugar apples will be destroyed by typhoons, and when phone wind flow, he often lost almost everything. So now he decided to plant trees on part of his land. I had this thought, but didn't know how to start. I used to work as a contractor in a company. And some people surveyed the area and said it was suitable for planting mahogany trees. And you can grow them just anywhere, even if you have a land. Many other places are unsuitable. The city office also has a service the area. They also offer lessons on how to plant the mahogany trees. Planting mahogany trees requires attentive care, especially when their saplings and aren't yet strong enough. The farmers must also consider the factors of mudslides typhoons which might ruin the trees. The government provided 180,000 Taiwan dollars in subsidies this year, but there are still concerns over possible typhoon damage on the plantation. Without careful work, all efforts will be wasted. There are subsidies currently around 150,000 Taiwan dollars for one hectare of land. There are some 188,000 Taiwan dollars. Growing sugar apple requires a lot of manpower. Currently, there are only the two of us, so we removed sugar apple tree first, and before we plant the mahogany saplings, this makes our work easier. It takes time for the couple to plant mahogany trees on the vast farm alone. What's more, the saplings have to plant it immediately after they are delivered. There is time pressure. Therefore, they have to hire workers. This is the price all tree farmers must pay. We are not asking to the government for help, but of course, it's better that there is a help. But there is a procedure, like stating what kind of help is required. The two of us currently don't have any need for government help. These 4,000 or so mahogany trees belong to the government for the next 20 years, but after that, the couple will want the trees which they carefully attend. In past few decades, due to changes in the economic environment, most farmland in indigenous villages has become fallow. For the community members who had ground rice all their lives, this situation is hard to cope with. Less farming also led to fewer jobs and an increase in unemployment in the communities. But the locals must not bow to the changing environment. Buya, who just turned 60, is a good example. His determination and precious experience are something the indigenous people can learn from. TITV Weekly.